can't be my man's either. They say Chuck a go getter, yeah, I'm a overachiever. In college, I play football, I was a wild receiver. Ain't got shit to do with this, but I just thought that I should miss it. Hey, don't, don't be playing me 50, don't be moving iffy. I, I peep all the snakes. Hey, what's up? It's Shy, yo. Yeah. We back. We back again. <laughs> all right, look. Today's video, uh, it's not going to be really Bible content. I'm just kind of going and looking at my old Facebook post. Back in the day, a lot of us had some crazy Facebook posts. We were saying some crazy off the wall, crazy off the wall stuff, man. So I'm about to go back and, and see what kind of stuff I was really, you know, posting on Facebook. Because I don't know if I was going a little too crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I probably was, man. But um, I'm going to scroll as far back as I can, far back as possible. Back in the day, man, my Facebook name at that time was Taste Style. I was really trying to be a rapper for it. This is the page, 1.6K. And if you don't believe it's me, here's a picture. I'm out it right here it's the picture of me if you don't believe it's me all right so that's my page we're gonna just scroll i'm not even gonna start from the bottom to the top man i'm gonna just scroll uh damn 2016 is crazy bro all right here we go december 25th 2015 all my friends married or have kids bruh except me first of all why am i worried about having kids and getting married at this time bro 2015 i was probably like damn bro how old was i bro a young teen Teenager, bro, a kid. I was a kid, bro. Why, why am I worried about why, bro? I'm talking about all my friends married, have kids, except me. I don't know, man. I know back in the day, you know, I, I was all about relationships and, and love and stuff like that. So I was probably in my feelings or something, man. I don't know, but this it's crazy now to see my mindset at that time, bro. All my friends married or have kids, bro. Why? Yo, yo, it's OD. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, when you make her. And she lay in bed with you back. Yo, what was I on, yo? Like, yo, I'm bugging. Like, yo, what was I on, yo? Like, I don't know. Man, some of y'all are too young to know what this mean, man. But I don't know. I, I must have been going crazy. And it's two days after my birthday, yo. <laughs> yo, what was I on? What was I on? Yo, I was going crazy. Yo, that's that's a crazy, that's a crazy post, bro. Man, look, bro. All I can say about this post, bro, this must have been a time in my life when I was all about trying to smash. I must have been trying to smash the female. That's the only explanation i was trying to smash or something i don't know like i don't know i might have been dealing with a female or you know making a making a woman feel some type of way yo i completely forgot about this one bro so around what's this november 14th i ain't gonna lie around november 14th yo i tried out for american idol bro i tried out for american idol no i did not win no i did not go to the second round or the, the semi-finals or none of that not I don't know. I just, I guess at the time, I, I was trying to rap, bro. I'm going to insert a picture right here. But at the time, I was trying to rap. Um, I had traveled all the way from my city to wherever this was at. I don't remember the, where this was at. If it was like in Atlanta or Texas or North Carolina, I don't remember. But, bro, I don't know. I just know it's America's Got Talent. At the time, one of my friends was like, bro, like, you should rap on there because there's not a lot of people that's rapping that's making it on America Got Talent. That's a good look for you. And, you know, just a whole hyping me up for real. And I, I went there, but like I said, I didn't make it. Man, but that was that was a good time, bro. Good time. Good time, man. man I ain't gonna lie, man. Scrolling, bro. Look, looking through these. It's, it's a lot of memory. And what did it say? October. Opened up my first show tonight. And I, I tagged the club and I said, I was turned. Like I said, back in the day, man, I was rapping. I, I, was, I wanted to. To be a rapper i wanted to be an artist so i was i was doing shows promoting myself i was doing all that i was going out to people passing out cds bro everything i was going crazy with the music bro i don't know bro like i was a lot on here bro grind don't stop no days off stay working no day and i ain't gonna lie like i was like like when i as i was making these posts i was in the mindset of all right you know work hard i ain't know what direction i wanted to take at this time i was just saying anything as far as motivation because at the time i was motivating myself so I put motiv I make motivational posts just to motivate myself and I ain't gonna lie at the time people was you know they was messaging me and, and liking my posts and saying bro keep on doing it but on the inside I, I wasn't feeling motivated at all I had no outlet I didn't have a reason to be motivated I just wanted to make the motivational post just to push that positivity in the world for real so I'm glad like now I'm glad that I'm actually living through these motivational quotes and through these motivational things that I'm saying I'm, I'm glad I'm actually living it and doing what I'm saying yo grind like you got two kids and a wife but I don't know like I said I don't know why I was so I don't know I feel like 
my mind, I say my mindset at the time, being a teenager, being a kid, like, I don't know, but like, I was, I was always talking like that, living out the testimonies that I was speaking on. So things like grind like you got two kids and a wife, and I put the hashtag hard work, dedication, success. I'm glad I was having this mindset back then, but you, you can't speak on something and not live it. You know what I'm saying? It's another one. I ain't gonna lie, like, I like, I like the posts I was making. Like, yo, it's a lot of copycats out here. Originality is key. I ain't gonna lie, that's a fact. Like, a lot of y'all wanna copy. A lot of people wanna copy others. Like, we see something we like, or we see something that catches our eye, and we wanna copy that. Like, bro, if you see something you like, or you see something that influences you, make it your own so it's original. Um, all right, boom. Who wants to do a music review for me on YouTube? Now, I ain't gonna lie. 2015, I didn't even have a YouTube. Like, I didn't even have a YouTube. Like, I didn't have an account or nothing. I was watching YouTube on, like, family members, like, phones and computers. And, like, my grandma had a laptop, and I watched YouTube on that. But I never had my own account. Even at my house with my mom's. And my mom's had a laptop that I would go on, but it was her account. So, as far as watching videos, it was through her account. And certain things, I couldn't watch. Or it was restricted, or she wouldn't let me watch you know what i'm saying i don't know she put like a like an age restriction or something like that she put on her computer so like i said at the time i was trying to be a rapper so this must have been a time when i was just trying to get my name out there when i wanted people to like say review my music who wants to do a music review that ain't nothing crazy bro that's august 2nd 2015 don't be here for my success when you wasn't there when i failed yo like i said this is 2015 this is nine years later bro nine years later we 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 still here. We still here grinding. I was not consistent. I was not. If this is 2015 and I'm making, but like I said, at the same time, I wasn't on YouTube though. I wasn't on YouTube. So, but that that's my fault that I, I should have just took that leap of faith, man. Is there any, anything else crazy in here, bro? Uh, all right, boom. June 4th, June 4th, 2015. I learned from past relationships and old habits. I learned ideas and situations in my life don't always relate to others. I'm a music artist, a great friend. It's crazy how people relate to my music, but me as myself is a whole different story. I feel like the artist styles and the guy styles sometimes conflict my life. Why is it so difficult to maintain both sides of me? I don't know, like from this post right here, specifically this post, I feel like I was going through something mentally. Um, Maybe with me trying to be an artist, maybe I was like, I don't know. I feel like at that time, this was 2015, at that time, I said I was really trying to go hard with music. I feel as though at the time, I probably was getting some attention, some attention. Not famous or nothing, but I was probably getting some attention. And I probably just felt a certain way. Like, yo, like, do y'all y'all love me for me? Or do y'all love me for the for the artist? For the artist side of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, is it is it real? Y'all y'all rocking with me because of who I am? Or because of the name I'm trying to make for myself? Or y'all really genuinely rocking with me? So that, that's what I feel. All right, go ahead, another one. Explain this stuff behind honest about it. hashtag my thing hey like i said man it's all the mindset like I said, I'm just glad I was pushing positivity around this time. A lot of kids my age at that time, they wasn't on what I was on. So I felt like I was real isolated by myself. My mindset wasn't like nobody else at the time. Like, even now, I feel like my mindset is just different. I was just different growing up, man. You can tell from these posts. Progression, all I see, May 16th. That's, that's, that's another one, man. I don't know, man. We're just going crazy with the motivation. Going crazy with the motivation, man. Man, I'm telling you, bro. Um, stupid. Studio buzzing full of hits like always. God gave me something good, I swear. Hashtag TME3. Man, I said this more music post. I think I was about I think I was about to drop a mixtape around this time. Had to had to be. Man, I'm, I'm looking for something crazy. Alright, it's stopping March 21st, 2015. Look, no more post. I don't know if I can see that. 2015, no more post. Hey, I don't know, man. I thought I was gonna have something crazy. Like I said, I haven't been on this page in years so i'm just doing a refresher man just looking back to see what type of stuff I'll so if y'all like this video man make sure y'all show love i appreciate the comments and the subscribers and the, the likes man i appreciate y'all engagement man i appreciate that more content is on the way you know what i'm saying hold on let me let me let me see something real quick all right boy if y'all want to follow me now on facebook now this is my facebook page now i'm active on here you know what i'm saying i'm posting daily motivation posting whatever this will be the page that i'm on all right man Man, that's it for the video. Like I said, I didn't have nothing crazy on the comments. I thought I, was, I thought my post was gonna be crazy, but it seemed like I was a regular kid that was just trying to be motivational. I was, I was just trying to make. I was just trying to make it, but I, I guess I didn't have the motivation that I have now, man. But that's what happens when you get older. 
when things change. You got different mindsets. You get in different situations. I ain't gonna talk too much. I ain't about to talk your heads up. It's your boy Shy Fades. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Bye. No, you're not, you're not. She's a dime.